WWE has uncovered more previously undisclosed payments made by Vince. SEC filing Tuesday. Two additional payments McMahon agreed to make in 2007 and 2009 have been uncovered. We're now up to $19.6 million. WWE has determined that payments should have been recorded in the company's financial statements with the two additional payments uncovered. WWE notified the SEC Tuesday it will be late in filing its second quarter financial report for this year. They also have to revise 2019, 2020, and 2021 and its report for the first quarter of 2022. All of the payments, quote, were or will be paid by Vince McMahon personally. WWE wrote in the filing the company anticipates it will file its second quarter financial report within the five-day extension period, blah, blah, blah. Dude, this guy's done. He's done. He's not coming back. He's not pulling the strings behind the scenes. He's done. And I don't know this, obviously, but my guess is this ain't it. I mean, I could be wrong, but, I mean, they keep looking and they keep finding more. $19.5 million. So the next time you... Have a few spare dollars and maybe you go to the casino or, you know, throw some bucks in the air at the strip club or whatever your whatever your personal vice is. Just remember, you did not spend three thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars a day every day for 16 years to pay off women. And the stock is up. 15% 15% in the last month. It is $72. Well, their stock we with me is up about 100% after he left. To well, be fair. I, I get what you're saying. Believe me, I absolutely know what you're saying. But it also shows you the bubble. And I wonder, the more that comes out, unless one of these stories, like the real sports, something has got something where the public can attach something. I, it's almost like the more that comes out, the more they celebrate, you know, stockholders, the fact, well, he's not there to do this anymore. And we're going to continue to buy in. It's just, it's something else. It's amazing that even with the reports that have, you know, variety is covering this more. Now other people are covering this more now that nothing's hurting that stock price. And I'm not looking at this as anything other than just that, not whether it's right or wrong or any of that stuff, but you would see some negative fluctuation with almost anybody. And from the time this thing started, for the most part, except for a short few hours, this thing has not only rebounded back, it's actually climbed higher. So it's it's really something else. He's actually benefiting, still being the number one stockholder in that company, of all of the carnage that he created and that really again shines a really bright obnoxious and needed light on the culture and the environment of that place something that has been whispered about and talked about for a long long time (laughs) to that that really does need to be fixed and whatever process they're going to go through again they haven't even we haven't even gotten a final report from the board, at least that we know of, of what their findings actually are. Because they're not and done. You, and that's the thing, as you mentioned, we keep getting more and more and more of this. So it is still a fascinating story that's going to continue on. But again, purely from a money point of view, he's actually, again, not really making out, quote unquote, but he's certainly other people feeling results for their actions. <laughs> you know, I don't know if he's ever really going to feel him. We'll see. This is how the show begins, really. Oscar gives a back kick. Camera cut. She does a back fist. Camera cut. She starts to run. Camera cut. She hits a hip attack. Camera cut. She drops to her knees. Camera cut. She throws a kick. Camera cut. She stands up and screams. Camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious. Do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.